Get out of your photography comfort zone. Always shooting the same subject or genre will hamper your learning. My name is Wolf Amri, Wolf.Amri on Instagram, and in this video I want to motivate you to shoot things that you haven't shot before. In my youth I was quite a bit into skiing and we had a slogan, if you don't fall, you don't learn. And boy was that true. The only downside with skiing is you can hurt yourself when you crash. While that hurting thing is not valid for photography, the rest is. Get out of your photography comfort zone and explore. Make mistakes, analyze and learn. Get yourself willingly into situations that seem to exceed your skills. Being it that you have to be super fast changing your camera settings or just shoot things that you have never shot before. The good thing compared to skiing, you don't hurt yourself or anyone else when you fail. All you produce is some garbage images. And that brings me to an important point. That does not mean you should go out and offer the world to shoot weddings. Many beginners seem to do that. But while that might not hurt you, it may very well hurt someone else, namely the bride and the groom. So I'd strongly recommend to not use weddings or other important events to get out of your comfort zone before you're ready for that. What I rather mean is if you like to photograph birds and you do nothing but photographing birds, you won't learn nearly as quick as you would if you asked your neighbors if you can photograph their running dog or ask your family members if you can take their portrait. If you stick with photographing birds, you will do the same mistakes over and over again because you didn't know they were mistakes or you didn't know that you can do things differently. My wife and I do photography professionally for 15 years now and we refuse to specialize. Not only will a variety help us keep the fun, we learn something new every day. And if you get out of that comfort zone of bird photography, I swear it will feel even more comfortable when you get back into it. Because you have become better at photography in general and coming back, you will certainly understand things you wouldn't even have thought about before. To give you an analogy, I studied sports science and in sports you learn to do things that are much more difficult than the discipline you're actually practicing for. As an example, let's go back to skiing. You learn to ski with just one ski, open ski boots or without poles. That will teach you balance and you will become nimble and agile. If you're a discus thrower, you practice throwing with your left arm. If you're right-handed, once you get your discus back into your right hand, it feels as if you can tear down walls with it. You just feel so safe, comfortable and powerful to have it back in your right hand. I hope you see the analogy. If you leave your photography comfort zone, you learn new skills you didn't even know existed. And these things not only help you become much faster with your camera settings, but help have a look at your own photography from another perspective. Let me give you an example. Let's say you mainly photograph your kids and you have issues focusing. Go out in summer and try to photograph birds in flight instead. The best subjects would be swallows because they have such an erratic flight pattern you cannot predict where they go next. It constantly puts you under stress. If you after that go back to photographing your kids toying around, it will feel like a piece of cake, as if they were moving in slow motion. Or another example, you like to photograph sports outdoors but somehow struggle with the camera settings. Go indoors and do the same. I promise it will be a relief to get out into the bright daylight again. And one more, you like to photograph portraits but feel a little overwhelmed setting the camera and communicating with the subject at the same time. Next time you go into town with a car and you don't drive yourself but are a co-driver, shoot out of a driving car. That way, you will have to change your camera settings much faster to get good results. And doing that often will get your camera settings into muscle memory, rather than continuously thinking about them. But it doesn't have to be that extreme. If you usually shoot wildlife, shoot portraits instead. If you normally shoot portraits, shoot landscapes. Or portraits with landscapes. If you shoot sports and need a challenge, try to catch insects in flight. The great thing is, you have nothing to lose. It's just pictures. Even if they turn out crappy, nothing lost. You can delete them and start all over. But while you don't lose anything, you will gain a lot. Believe me, a lot. So don't do what you always did, but break the barriers and do something new. And now, go, 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 what are you waiting for? See you in the next video after you returned.